we are here at the Belle of Louisville. Now, as you guys know, I am a Louisville girl. I grew up half my life here, but I've actually never been to the Belle of Louisville, so I'm so excited to be here. I am here with the communications coordinator. Tell everybody your name, introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Charlotte Mason. I am the communications coordinator here at the Belle of Louisville Riverboats, which means I get to have a ton of fun at my job. I get to do the social media. I get to meet all the crew and tell about their jobs and overall just share about how much fun we have here on the boats. That's amazing. So obviously you're the go-to person for everything about the Belle of Louisville. So tell me a little bit about the history of it. Yeah, so the Belle was built as the Iowa back in 1914 um, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So she's very special to us because she's currently 107 years old. She's, wow. Yes, she's the oldest operating Mississippi River style steamboat in the world. So that's pretty neat. Um, she was the Idlewild for a while before she became the Avalon. Um, and then when she was the Avalon back in the 1960s, she was sold at auction in Cincinnati to the city of Louisville for $34,000. She became the Belle of Louisville and in April 30th of 1963, she ran her first steamboat race. Wow, okay. So I know that you all also house a restaurant in here, do some cruises, but do you all still do steamboat races? We do. Um, we just had our, our recent one um, just last week, which wow. was super fun. So tell me about that. What is that like, that experience? Yeah, it's definitely quite a cool experience. I got to ride on the Mary Miller, which is the Bell's sister vessel. Um, the Mary was named for the first female um, steamboat captain wow. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And we had some visiting boats. Um, we had the Bell of Cincinnati and I believe the American Countess um, here. So we got to run about a two hour race um, back to from Six Mile Island and back. That's exciting. So can we expect more steamboat races over the summer? I know you said there's a lot of new things that yeah. are gonna be happening here. Yeah, not over the summer, but we do have some exciting offerings this summer. Um, we are participating, participating in the cultural pass for our second season. We have some new exciting kids cruises as well as a Kentucky Bluegrass and Bourbon cruise series. Wow, so for people that have, haven't ever experienced it, like you walk in, it's amazing. Tell me, what should they look forward to? What's the most exciting part about being here? Yeah, for me, I absolutely love the engine room. Um, the Bell's engines are actually older than the boat itself. So, and she's still 100% steam operated, so we always invite guests to come see the engine room and ask my engineers questions, to see the boiler room. Um, they can come hang out here on the ballroom deck and as well as on the Hurricane in Texas deck and listen to the Calliope. That sounds so fun. You already have me wanting to come here like tomorrow. So we'll be back and we're gonna show you another room on the Bell of Global. If you haven't been here, you don't wanna miss it.